In this video, we're going to talk about what happens to a Y circuit with a neutral when one of the lines opens up. So we'll take a look at what happens to the current, we'll take a look at what happens to the voltage, and then we'll take specifically a look to see what happens with the power. Just to familiarize ourselves again with the Y circuit, I have a line, I have a line, I have a line here, and you see this double S thing here, that is an open, and then I have our neutral coming out there as well. On this side here, we'll have some sort of transformer bank that it's feeding this, but for now we're just going to focus on the three phase Y connected loads, and you can tell it's low, they're loads because of the resistors. So let's start adding some values to these. All right, at this point here, with this broken line down here, we will have 120 volts to ground or to neutral on this load, 120 volts ground to neutral on this load, and this side here will not see any voltage because the line voltage coming in is non-existent because of that break. Let's give ourselves some ohmic values just so we've got something to play around with here. So we'll say that this load is going to be 10 ohms, this load here will be 10 ohms, this load here is obviously still 10 ohms, regardless as to whether or not it's seeing a voltage because of that break. The ohmic value is, the resistance is a physical property of it, so it stays 10 ohms. Which means 120 divided by 10 gets us 12 amps. That gets us 12 amps there. And on this side here, we will have 0 amps. Now when we talked about a three-phase completely balanced Y circuit before, we didn't see much current flowing on the neutral here, but because we have an unbalanced situation now with no line, we're going to see something different. We end up with 12 amps on the neutral, and you could do the math to figure that out. I'm not going to go over the math in this particular video. There's lots of other videos that I've done that have gone over three-phase math. If you're concerned with at all about how we get our phase voltages, line voltages, phase currents, or line currents, make sure you go take a look at those videos. However, any way you look at it, I have now 12 amps on my neutral going back zero amps going through my load because I have zero volts there and I only have 10 ohms. So again, zero divided by 10 gets me zero and away we go. So again, the nice thing about power is when we have these circuits here, I can just take the 1440 watts. The way we got that is you can go 120 squared over 10 or I can go 120 times 12 or I can go 12 squared times 10. Anyway, look at it, that will get me 1440 watts on this load. I also have 1440 watts on this load, and I have 0 watts on this load, so I add them all up together, and I end up with 2880 watts in total being used by this circuit. So if we look at it, we've got 1440 plus 1440 gets me 2880 with the break. And now if we go back and we do the math, I've got 120 times 12 times 3 to get what my voltage is. So that's going to be my phase voltage times my phase current times 3, which again, if you want to know how that math works, make sure you go back in the videos that looks at the power in a Y circuit. But we get 4,320 watts with no break. And this is all leading up to a point here. It's leading up to the fact that power is always going to be 66.7% of the previous when there is a line break with a neutral. So again, power is always 66.7%. You don't have to go through and do all the crazy math. You can work out what your power was originally and take 66.7% of that, and then you'll end up with the power with a neutral break. That's all I got for this week. Do yourself a favor and hit the subscribe button down below. Do yourself another favor and hit that bell button down below. That'll notify you when I have new videos coming out, which is weekly. And I've got some pretty big news coming up. I've got the Electric Academy membership site is I'm taking waiting list members now. So you can hit that button down below as well. There'll be some uh, link in the show notes down below. Just if you're interested in more videos like these, having some practice, practice questions and test banks, having community, which is what I'm most excited about, then just go ahead and hit go down below and check out where I'm talking about the Electric Academy membership site. Again, it, you're no obligation. It's just going to put you on the waiting list to give you more information when it opens up. Until then, and until next week, have a great week, everyone. Stay classy.